All right, thank you, Rob. Summer is around the corner. Kids are dusting off their two wheelers or learning to ride a bike for the first time. Mm -hmm. I've been working on that this weekend. <laughs> That's really hard to teach. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with the latest on a new campaign. Well, Karen, doctors are encouraging everyone to put a lid on it and avoid the major helmet mistakes. Bike accidents send more kids to the emergency room than any other sport, but studies find 57% of bike-related deaths can be prevented by wearing a helmet. Head injuries are by far and away the most dangerous injuries with bike crashes, and bike helmets prevent head injuries. Dr. Michael Mackinnon recommends letting your child pick out their helmet, but avoid styles with sharp edges or decorations that stick out. The helmet may look cool, but it's less safe. What you'd like to do is get a helmet that's as round as possible, as smooth as possible, because if you have edges sticking out, those can get caught if you're in a crash and it can stop your head from rolling smoothly and can actually cause significant injury. Light or bright helmets are more visible to drivers. Be sure the helmet fits properly and that children are wearing it correctly. A lot of kids don't like to tie the, cl the clasp and that's a bad idea. Bike helmets that are involved in a crash are no longer safe and they need to be replaced. And remember, helmets aren't just for biking. Kids also need them for rollerblading, skateboarding, and riding on a scooter or a hoverboard. So every week we contact local doctors to see what's going around. And the number one request of ER doctors this time of year is, please remind parents that kids and teens need to wear helmets. They see injuries over and over this time of year, and they're very frustrated because the majority of the most serious problems could really be prevented by a helmet. All right, I do have a question. We're doing the helmet, but I kind of feel like you need the knee pads and the things, but I don't do that because I guess that's not cool. I don't know. Well, should you do that too? When they're, when they're learning to ride a bike, I mean, the main thing is giving them the independence and a little bit of speed so that they can kind of get going. I think once they get the rhythm and once they get that feel, their balance kind of settles in pretty quick, but they do need to wear a helmet. So worry that's about the, the helmet. We thing. can skip the knee pads if we... Do people do knee pads? Kids are going to fall. That cool? That's the way it okay. is. I'm worried. <laughs> I'm a wimp <laughs> on this stuff. I'll keep you updated, all right? We're working on it. Thanks, Doc. Mm -hmm.